All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy dessert called an apple puff pancake, although it'll work with apples, peaches, I've made it with pineapple, any kind of fruit really does work well. And the beauty of it is, while it's kind of like an apple pie, you don't have to bother rolling out crust. How cool is that? Because it bakes its own. So what you're going to need are four eggs, a couple of apples, some cinnamon, three tablespoons of either butter or margarine, some raisins, one cup of milk, and a dash of vanilla. Also, if you want, you can add some nuts. I'll probably throw some walnuts or pecans into the mix just to give it a little bit of texture. Other than that, what you're also going to need is you're going to need either a skillet or in my case, I'm going to use a little wok to make this thing because we're actually going to bake it, but we'll start setting it up over on the stove top. So let me come right back and I'll show you how we're going to get started with this bad boy. Okay, we start off by putting a slow burn under our pan, and we will start by putting in the butter. trick is to let it get all nice and melted. And if it gets too hot, turn down the stove as I just did. And into that we're going to add our fruit, which in this case is apples. I'm going to put a couple of them in there. Okay. And into that I'm going to add some raisins. In this case, these are actually raisins that I have steeped in some sweet wine, which makes them even better. Also going to add a little shot of brown sugar. Again, you can do this as little or as much as you want. I like it. But I'd say that's about a quarter cup. I mean, I don't want to make this thing into candy, but you know, you want to have a little sweetness in it and actually that'll all cook down into that as well. And I'll actually turn this up just a scooch. And I'll give it a little hit of cinnamon. And I'm going to add the optional nuts, in this case walnuts. And you just want to let this all cook down until the apples get just a wee bit soft and the uh, sugar gets incorporated into the butter. See, it's already starting to look pretty interesting. We'll give that about another two, three minutes, which is enough time to uh, allow our oven to heat up to 425. And then while we're waiting for that to happen, let me pull out Mr. Blender over here. Because the rest of this setup, we've got to make the custard. So to do that, it's very simple. We simply put our cup of milk in the blender, and then we'll add our four eggs. One, two, three, and four. Gonna give this a little shot of vanilla. Just a little, a little bit. There you go. And then we'll just let it whirl. And into it add about a quarter cup of flour. So into it I added about a quarter cup of flour. So now we're good. We're just going to let these cook down just another minute or two. Then we're just going to pour our custard mix on top. We're going to pop this bad boy 
in the oven for exactly 20 minutes and the important thing is no peaking. Here we go. Just pour the custard over top. Well, custard to be, it's actually just an egg milkshake at this point. And then mm, pop it in the oven. And last but not least, set your timer. Be back in 20 minutes to see what we have wrought. There you have it, the apple puff pancake. Easy to make, it's great with ice cream or even on its own, just cut it up like a pie and serve it. If it's not quite to your uh, sweet tooth liking, feel free to add a little drizzle of pancake syrup because after all it is a pancake. But actually what it is, is an apple custard pie without a crust. Easy to make, feeds it, like I said, six to eight people, depending on how big of an appetite you've got, and you can whip it up in all of 30 minutes. Until next time, enjoy the simpler things in life with Man Cave Munchies.